Okay, so tear stain removal is a common request and question we get in the grooming salon all the time. And I wish I had a better answer for you guys. Uh, just like the name implies, the, the tear stains, it's an actual stain. Uh, and for the area close to the dog's eyes or mouth, we don't want to use bleaches or harsh chemicals um, that could actually irritate or damage those areas on our, our beloved pup. So what I recommend um, is kind of a two-pronged uh, approach to prevent and kind of reduce the appearance of tear stains. So you definitely want to, of course, make sure your dog has a great diet. Um, I really recommend adding a little goat's milk in your dog's diet. Um, and that really helps with like your dogs, good bacteria in their bellies, helps with their immune system and all that good stuff. And that can prevent, you know, some of those allergy re uh, reactions, uh, like excess eye watering. Uh, so on her here, if you guys can see, he does not have very severe tear stains. Uh, he has a nice raw diet, which I highly recommend. He's on Stella and Chewy's. So every day, I just take this wipe and I wipe on this kind of gooky area here. Anything on the other side. And if we do that every day, you are going to find um, a reduction in the tear stain and prevent a lot of those tear stains combined with the, the diet. So anal glands are two sacs on either side of a dog's anus um, internally. You can't see them. Uh, and basically when your dog goes to the restroom, uh, they excrete a little bit of those anal gland juices and kind of marks their territory. It's their own unique scent. Unfortunately, um, dogs sometimes don't have the muscles or perhaps they have softer stool so they're not excreting liquid out. Um, it takes honestly about six months to learn like the, the magic touch for anal glands. It's possible to rupture them and that can lead to even a need for surgery or antibiotics and of course lead to a lot of pain. Um, so I highly recommend you leave it to your groomer or even get the internal job done by your vet um, if your dog has an issue. A lot of people, um, a lot of experts debate if you should do anal glands whatsoever. Um, so what I prefer to do is kind of check the anal glands um, and see if um, they're overly full. Um, if a dog does them themselves and never needs them done, then I just leave them alone. Um, but I can give you guys a little demo. This is Herman. Remember Herman? Um, so I just use a little wipey. And you don't want to apply a lot of force. It's more of applying even pressure. And again, I don't want you guys to do this at home, but I want you to see what we do. So here's his little tushy. And on either side, I'm going to apply pressure. And I have to cover it because it squirts out and you want to keep your mouth closed when you do this too because trust me, some people have gotten it right in the mouth. Here we go. And this is going to be very, very stinky liquid. A lot of you guys um, probably are familiar with the smell when your doggy rubs their butt on the ground or does it themselves after the restroom. You're like, why do you smell like fishy pennies? And that is anal glands, painless. So um, if you lack a bathtub or a sink that can fit your pup, um, one trick we do at like the dog shows is get just like a Rubbermaid tub, um, just some, some sort of large plastic tub. And um, what you can do is you can kind of bucket bathe them in that tub or if you have a sprayer that reaches to that tub and just make sure after you've rinsed them once then you take them out of the tub dump that tub and then start again with fresh water because the soapy water will build up on their legs 
so that's the only thing. Rinsing may be more difficult, but that's definitely an option, especially with this warm weather that you could do in your yard. So if you nick your dog, either from your brush, or you clip their nail too short, or maybe you've tried to trim or clip your dog, um, if it's a minor injury, and I would say anything like about a centimeter, maybe at most two centimeters uh, in, in length, then you feel you can treat at home. Rinse it with a, a saline solution. Um, if it is bleeding, first um, apply pressure just like you would yourself. And um, anything that doesn't stop in a minute or two, I would go ahead and, and make an appointment for your bed or go into the bed. Um, so yeah, that would be the recommendation. So yes, our salons are open. We're so excited. Every single location is open. So please call ahead and make an appointment. Uh, currently, we're only doing curbside pickup and drop off uh, for your safety and our safety as well. Um, we are not currently doing a la carte walk-in services. So uh, we're really looking forward to having